Bring victory. Hmm. Resume's so good with so many of my cards that I'm gonna keep it here. Could be wrong. I'm keeping Excavate with the coin, because it's so good at clearing a board that gets big, but that's also possibly wrong. It's possible that, like, given that I don't have, like, a pain, I should be mulliganing more. Yeah, but it did not do anything turn one, at least. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, we can death that now. <laughs> or pain this. If I death this and he plays a 7-7, seven, seven, I'll be very sad. Eh, we're gonna death it. Hopefully he doesn't have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Lots of the decks these days actually have not been playing. Uh, necessarily playing with faces. Hey, Raging Pianist. Thank you for the two-month resub. Watching the first, the full Stranger Things uh, season. Awesome. Yeah, it's, Stranger Things is so good. That show is fantastic. Mm, just gonna coin out and excavate, I think. Alright, Azure Drake. So, Azure Drake suggests that my opponent is playing a more uh, mid range version. I'm gonna do this. I need to actually find things to do. We'll heal this guy so he can't uh, rock biter it or spirit closet. Hmm. Alright. Yep. Oh god, healing totem is actually insane there. I was gonna excavate this turn. Ugh, that was gross. I mean, I guess we're doing this. This gives me something which, which challenges his board, removes his healing totem, so he can't just get healed back up. Mm -hmm. God, that, that healing totem was actually so insane, it really ruined me. I may have to excavate this away, like, incredibly awkwardly. If I play this, it almost certainly gets hexed, and getting something hexed is, like, pretty disastrous, because it turns off my Onyx Bishops. I could just play an Onyx Bishop right now. Then we're, we're vulnerable to, like, a Maelstrom portal with so much spell power, or, or Storm. Will my discussion of Yogg come out soon? Thank you for the resub. Um, I haven't recorded it yet, but I plan to. Eh, I think I just have to hope he doesn't have hexed. Yeah, air attack. Well, now I can excavate. Well, we can play a Sawgoth, which is pretty good against Shaman. Can't hex that. Here's Soggy. Pretty good here. Get slithered on. Yep. Gonna like Maelstrom Portal, yeah, attacks with both. Oh, double Maelstrom Portal. Alright. Do like a Lightning Storm too? Okay. Oh man, I was like just hoping to get Pyromancer. So if he has Flame Tongue, how does this go? Um, hmm. Okay. This could be bad against like a Lightning Storm. I think he might have stormed last turn rather than trading off his Azure Drake. 
Eh, okay. This is not bad. Oh, we excavate. Oh, that is bad. Ew. Gross. Okay. Rah, 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 rah. That sucks. I'll play Rag and Smite this. I kind of wish I still had that Onyx fish with my hand. Maybe a mistake to play last turn. Maybe I just Entomb. I have a pain in my hand. Yeah, I'll just Entomb. I want to smite that because I don't want him to get any value from like a flame tongue. I also am going to want to potentially play rag and pain something next turn. So, like, I might as well just remove his one threat now, even though it's a relatively small one. face there. I wanted to kill either one of these because if he plays like Thunderbluff Valiant now, he has both of these in play. Okay, no Thunderbluff at least. Hey, Tom Pacmed, thank you for the five month resub. I appreciate it. What could be my opponent's hand? Another Flame Tongue, maybe? Okay, no, it was the second hex. I guess his last card is Lightning Bolt. I hope we don't like, he doesn't play like Thunderbolt Valiant here, and because I have the death instead of Entomb from when I Entombed Bog Creeper rather than deathing it, that I lose to it. That would make me sad. Doggies, alright. Hey, Pimp Willy, thank you very much for the 22 month resub. Welcome back, I appreciate it. 1 2 Taylor, thank you very much for the 10 month resub. I appreciate it, thank you. Totem Golem, alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this card is Lightning Bolt. Yep. Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Hopefully his next draw is not like immediately Thunder Bluff Valiant. Because I, I wanted to entomb that to heal myself up a bit. He's going to be like just generating um, totems every turn. Uh, uh, taunt totem every turn. So I didn't want to just be taking damage from that guy forever. Because I'm Actually, relatively low. All right, well, he's played. Oh, damn it, we heal myself here. He's played like both bolts, so he can't bolt this despite it being a four. And it's true that yeah, if he played a a thunder bluff now, he couldn't actually get. Well, it's actually whenever you use your hero power, you know, you can't use it, right? You actually just can't use the shaman hero power at that point, which is kind of funny. Uh, all right. Alright. Kinda sucks. It's a good draw. But yeah, if I have any board, obviously you can just suicide his 1 1 totem. Maybe I should have. Hit the healing totem with the with the, <laughs> the powered shield. There is a lot oh god, there it is. Jeez. Holy Nova, Holy Nova, lovely.
Holy Smite isn't bad. I actually don't have any way to remove this left. I've used like all of my pains and entombs, so I actually cannot remove the Valiant. What don't I die to? <laughs> Thing from below? I'm healing this so he can't just trade his totem into it. Because then if I draw, like, Holy Nova, I may just win. Because, yeah, if I draw Holy Nova, I win if he attacks... Yeah, if he doesn't clear that. Okay, well, now I can draw Holy Nova and clear his board. There's Holy Nova. I still just, like, Bog Creeper Ysera in my deck. What, another Valiant, he has my Excavated Evil, another Totemic, for all like Mana Tide. Yeah, there's Excavated Evil. <laughs> the King of Wet Noodle Fights right now, yeah, this is a... Uh... <laughs> do I want to just excavate here? I probably do, I don't want him to draw Thunderbolt Valiant with like a bunch of stuff from the board. Just let him draw my excavate. <laughs> there is a lot yeah, there's the Valiant. So give me a Sarah. Bog Creeper is quite good. The Bog Champ. Ha, ha, ha.